I'm Michael. Lately, when I go to the lumber yard, I feel like the cost has just been going through the roof. So we've been starting to take some wood from the yard and turn it into material that we can work into our projects. This is the first video in a series of three. Today, we're going to learn how to rough cut the wood. We're going to cover the basics of drying. The next video will go more in detail about how to do the drying. And then we'll talk about doing the finished milling so that we can actually use the wood. The only tool that I'm using to cut these into slabs is a bandsaw. The first thing that I do is cut a small piece off of one side to give me a flat reference side to cut the rest of the boards. So I'm going to position the guard. I'm going to cut these slabs somewhat thick, so I'm going to set it at about an inch and a half. Then I'm going to use the reference edge that I just created and put it against the table. After that, I'm simply going to run the log through the saw as many times as I can to create as many inch and a half thick boards as I can. At this point, we have some beautiful slabs and we have a decision to make. As you can see from the initial drying in the yard, there are some checked ends and cracks starting to form. So we can either trim those up. So we start with a fresh board for the drying process, which will minimize the likelihood that those cracks will continue to form and extend down the rest of the board. Or we can dry it and then deal with the cracks later. Depending on what you're gonna use the wood for is going to determine which of these paths you should take. In my case, I'm gonna leave some of them and I'm gonna trim the rest. So this board was the center board. And you can see here, this little strip here is the young growth. And you'll hear a lot of mixed things when it comes to the young growth boards, okay? Where I settle out on that is I mill it and I will use it. You can either afterwards trim it here and here to eliminate the young growth, or you can just leave it be. Uh, when you go to Home Depot, you'll see a lot of two by fours and a lot of boards that are used for structural purposes with that young growth ring right in the middle of it. It could have some impact on the structural integrity, but if you're using it for a decorative piece, then it should be more than fine. So I go ahead and dry those and I just stay aware of them when I'm using the boards later on. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video in this series about drying the wood properly. If you found this video helpful, click subscribe.